This is me about to get into an Uber with an alligator. I don't have to accept that. Uh, actually, you do. And it's all because of a strict company policy. All your favorite companies have them, you just don't know about them yet. So I've uncovered the weirdest company policies that exist, and today I'm gonna test them and see if they're actually enforced or long forgotten. Starting with our very first company, Disneyland. Now Disney is known for keeping secrets from the public, uh, but today I'm gonna expose a few of them. You see, Disney has this long list of policies you probably didn't know exist. And this list consists of the following. Employees must use the Disney point. No marriage proposals. Apparently that can get you banned for life, so uh, we'll be testing that. And finally, no dressing up as characters. That's funny, I don't remember that being in the script. <laughs> that doesn't mean I have to dress up as some silly character, right? <sighs> Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. The first policy is the Disney point. Apparently the employees here can't point with one finger. It has to be two. I don't know why this is a thing. There's tons of conspiracies on the internet about this and I don't even know if it's real, but I'm gonna find out. Excuse me? Hi. Could you point me towards the bathroom? You're gonna go ahead and exit out and then you're gonna go take a left. You'll see it where the table is. Perfect, thank you so much, appreciate it. It's actually real. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was an urban legend, but the Disney point is in fact real. All right, we got more policies to break. But before I could test any more policies, the unthinkable happened. Right. Hey guys, how are we doing today? Good, good, good. Has anyone talked to you about wearing this outfit today? Uh, no. Okay, so we do have a no costume policy for anyone over the age of 14. Do you have another change of clothes or something we can... Oh, um, I have uh, some jeans. Okay. I'll walk with you and make sure we get changed out. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. That didn't last very long. All right, well, now I know. That policy is enforced. So I went to the bathroom to take off my costume, and in this moment, I realized Disney should really implement a mandatory flush policy. We have one more policy, and I'm not looking forward to this one. And the policy I'm referring to is the no proposals policy. Recently, Disneyland banned all proposals from the theme park. If you dare to do it anyways, it can result in a lifetime ban. And I'm a YouTuber, so you know I'm gonna test it. Here I have my wedding ring, and I have to find somebody who's willing to get fake married to me. Dude, I don't know how we're gonna find somebody. Yo, excuse me? Hey, I'm doing this thing. I'm trying to find somebody who's willing to like do a fake proposal with me. Uh, okay. Yeah? So, okay, yeah, let's do it. Nice to meet you. Uh, I know it's awkward on first meet yeah. to get married. Yeah. Sorry. Let's do it. My new husband right here. <laughs> and so we scoped out where the proposal could take place, and it only felt right doing it right in the middle of the massive crowd. Uh, Are you nervous? A little, but I think I got it. Yeah. yeah. The entire area was swarming with security, so if they do enforce this policy, I was going to find out pretty quickly. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm actually really <laughs> nervous. Here we go. Um, excuse me, could you just take a photo of me and him real quick? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yes, I'll marry you. Yes. yes. I love you. This is so awkward. Oh, my new husband. I love you. That might have been the most awkward thing I've no, ever done. Dude, good job. Dude, all the security saw and they didn't no, even care. No, they started clapping. Sorry. They did? It was nice meeting yeah, you, Yeah, it was man. nice meeting you, Doug. Have a good day, man. You too. At the end of the day, Disney honored two out of three policies. I've also decided that one company will walk away with the title of GOAT tier. Greatest of all time. I'm going to get out of here. We have more policies to break tomorrow, so we better get a roll on. And boy, was I excited because these next policies are only getting weirder. Anyways, the next company we'll be testing is none other than IKEA, the only place on earth where you can buy a standing desk and meatballs all in one place. Now, everybody loves the food at IKEA, but what if I told you you could get it for free? Well, lucky for you, I know how to hack the system and get some free food. The policy is quite simple. Here at IKEA, the kids eat for free. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Jack, you don't have kids. Well, I have two kids right here. Does my mom even know I'm here? You said we were gonna be in a Mr. Beast video. <laughs> uh, we can figure that out later. For now, we'll just kind of. Uh. We're gonna go into IKEA and see if they honor their policy and get us some free food. How does that sound, guys? Sounds very great. All right, we're coming up on the food court. Are you guys hungry? Yeah, yeah. Good. Hey, um, I just wanted to order uh, some food, and then will the kids eat free? Today. Yeah. Awesome. I'll do meatballs, and then I'll do mac and cheese. I say we put it in a box and then we just kind of save it for ourselves. Yeah. We can give them like one meatball. They're small, it'll feed them. Yeah. Okay. Do we pay here? 
Yes. All together? Yeah, and then the kids oh. were free, right? With the family card, yes. The family card? Yes. It's like a rewards card that you sign up for. Oh. So it's not free? Only with the family card. Oh. Uh, okay. How much is it to sign up? What? It's free. There's no oh, charges. okay, yeah, let's sign up. And even though I nearly had a heart attack, it was actually really simple to sign up through the app. Your total is going to be twenty-one fifty-three. Perfect, thank you and so we're much. Getting both of those for free. And so in the end, we ended up getting our two free meals. Now it was just a matter of separating the food properly. You guys can have your own because you're special, and then you guys can go ahead and just share that right there. there yeah. Uh, well, I know I said free food, so that's it. Ikea did an amazing job and honored their policy. The meatballs were also delicious. Extra points. So we all enjoyed our food, and for whatever reason, the kids still seem to be hungry. Luckily, they'd have another opportunity to fill their bellies at this next establishment. Krispy Kreme. Now there's only one thing better than a donut. <laughs> A free donut. And it just so happens that they have a policy here that states for every A on a kid's report card, they receive a free donut. I've given them both report cards here that I totally didn't just Photoshop and print out at Staples. For all the A's total, we should walk away with 10 free donuts. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, uh, these are my nephews. They have the report cards. So for every A, don't they get a donut? Yeah, maybe check it first. Here you go. This is from the wedding I, I don't know why it says that. What I can do is I can only give you the three glaze. Okay. Come back and we'll make you guys those choices. Okay. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Thank you so much. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude. That is my first crime I've ever done. Really? <laughs> so all in all, we got three free donuts. If the report cards were real and didn't say 2020, we would actually get 10 free donuts. These two actually have A's, but we couldn't get the report cards. So technically we weren't lying. Good job, Krispy Kreme. You guys want to eat these? All right, enjoy. I'm actually going to let them eat this time. And so we enjoyed our donuts. If you do decide to try this and come with a real report card, they will in fact honor their policy. For that, that is a policy enforced. Good job, Krispy Kreme. All right, enough fun and games. It's time to take things up a couple notches. This next company may just call the fire department on me. And the company in question is AMC Movie Theater. Now, I am a huge fan of movies. Avatar, Oppenheimer, Shrek. What I'm not a fan of is the policy this place makes you follow. And the policies are no costumes, no face paint, check and check. And the last ones are no singing along and no bringing food into the theater. Now that last one really gets on my nerves. You see, I've fallen victim to this place's overpriced junk food one too many times. But today, that all changes. In my secret bag here, I have a five-star meal. Will they let me eat it in peace or ban me from the theater? All right, enough yapping. Let's get to chefing. I was going in there breaking every policy possible, but I was on a mission to complete one goal, enjoy my gourmet meal inside of the theater. Um, can I get two tickets to Wonka? Awesome. Okay. I can tap on this? Uh, no, you just tap. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, thank you. I'm good with the outfit? Yeah. Okay, and the face paint? Yeah. Okay, thank you, appreciate it. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Hi, good, how you doing? Pretty good. Oh yeah, ticket? Yeah, good. Three. I'm good with the outfit? Yeah, good. Appreciate it. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. I don't wanna get too comfortable because I know the last policy is ridiculous. And with that in mind, I made my way into the theater ready to test our next policy. Now that we're in the theater, the next policy is no singing along. And lucky for me, we were the only people inside the theater, but I was still worried because this place was covered with cameras and security. Anyways, the Wonka soundtrack kind of slaps. The only thing, thing that brings you joy Don't look Come to waistline It's, it's fine Ranch chocolates 1800 boxes Oh, oh deal Nobody cares. Policy busted. But I had a feeling they might care about this next policy because it was time to cook up a gourmet meal. Luckily, I brought myself a miniature stove, but first I would have to find a way to plug it in using my trusty extension cord, of course. Here we go, let's plug in the stove. Dude, this is so stupid. Okay. 
Where's that outlet? Oh, okay, it's in. So our stove is plugged in from here. All the way to here. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. Will the stove turn on? Here we go. It's not turning on. And so we had to try another outlet and another, but it didn't seem like it was gonna work. Nothing's working. I thought my plan had really failed here, but then just by the chance of luck, we found one more outlet. And so I decided to give it a try. Three, two, one. Oh, let's go. It's actually hot. And now that our stove was working, it was time to cook my gourmet meal. We got a nice boneless ribeye here. <laughs> Should have brought napkins, huh? <laughs> yeah. My salt and pepper. Steak going on the grill. This one? No, no. You hear the sizzle? It's actually cooking. <laughs> and just like that, I was cooking a ribeye steak in a movie theater while trying not to set off the smoke alarms. <laughs> All right, guys. Movie theater steak taste test. It's so good. For a movie theater steak, that is a 10 out of 10. And so we devoured the rest of our steak. And on the way out, I made sure to offer some to the employees. Would you like a bite of steak, sir? No, I had lunch already. <laughs> okay, no problem. There's absolutely no way. AMC has the chillest employees of all time. AMC honored a total of zero out of three policies. AMC, put your money where your mouth is. With only two more companies to go and even more ridiculous policies to test, we embark on a one hour drive to a place that I don't think belongs in California. The place I'm referring to is known as Texas Roadhouse. I've heard this place is known for being the loudest restaurant in the world, but I also think it's one of the weirdest. Having an entire restaurant based off simulating Texas is weird in itself, but just wait till you hear these policies. Now, if you're anything like me, you hate being sung happy birthday to, and this place takes it to a whole nother level with their policy they like to call the Yeehaw Birthday Humiliation. The name speaks for itself. It's extremely humiliating and nothing's gonna prepare me for this. <laughs> Apparently this place is also super well known for their bread rules. Now my girlfriend loves these things and lucky for her, there's a policy here where they have to give you unlimited bread rules. My goal is to take this policy to the absolute max and surprise my girlfriend with more rolls than she knows what to do with. Come on, partner. <laughs> do we just go right up here? It's very loud in here. Can I get a name? Uh, Jack. Okay, it'll be about like 15, 25 minutes. Okay, thank you so much. And while we waited for our table, we met a wise woman named Diana. You know like the rolls they have here? Yes. Are they as good as they say? Yes. You can have as many as you want. Eat as many as you want and don't be ashamed to do it because everybody does it. They're not gonna refuse you. And then before we knew it, our table was ready. We're ready, are you ready? And then this wonderful woman led us to our table uh, as if she was like an NPC helping us on a side quest. And first impressions on the restaurant, they weren't lying about it being Texan. All these decorations were just awesome. And I especially liked this armadillo having a cold one. If that's not the most Texan thing you've ever seen, I don't know what to tell you. Oh my gosh, the rolls. We just sat down. This is my official review of the Texas Roadhouse roll. <laughs> That's so good. These are the best rolls ever. I have to get as many as humanly possible. Luckily, I have a plan. The plan is to shovel them into a backpack. Bruh. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good. Uh, it's my birthday today. How old are we today? 14. Really? No way. No, no, no. Okay. 20, 20. Okay, so I was like, you yeah. know, <laughs> And so we ordered two kids' meals and made sure to ask for a second round of rolls because I may or may not have uh, finished the first one. Okay, so they know it's my birthday. I don't know if they're going to do the celebration. I guess we'll see. Our waitress came back with our drinks and more rolls. And now it was time to make these rolls disappear like nothing ever happened. With a camera directly above us and waiters at every table, I had to be extra quick and discreet. <laughs> okay, we're good. Oh my god. Oh. Thank you so much. And while we were enjoying our food, she came back with another basket of rolls. And once again, we magically made them disappear. And then our waitress came back and collected our trays. Can we get some more rolls, please? Yeah. Thank you so much. 
she's so over us. At this point, our waitress seemed to be pretty annoyed with us, and it seemed like she was just trying to get us out of there. And when she came back with another basket of rolls, she told us that if we wanted any more, we would have to pay. When she dropped them off, she said if we want any more, it's gonna cost us money. So basically, it's not unlimited. And so we proceeded to shove the rolls into the backpack, but then the man eating across from us told us this. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think she likes this that much. Apparently, the guy sitting next to us said he's never heard of a roll in it. Honestly, I think that our waiter just doesn't want to give us more. And on that note, we decided to wrap up our meal. But just as we were ready to leave... Oh! Oh, oh thank you. Is this like a saddle? Oh, what was your name, man? Uh, Jack. When I start yelling, you're just going to whip that around the air like that, all right? Okay. All right. Attention, Texas Roadhouse. We got some very special birthday in the house tonight, guys. My friend Jack is turning 20. Let's give it up. Yeehaw. Ready? One, two, three. Yeehaw. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. I'm hiding and everyone is looking at me. That was crazy. All right, let's see how many rolls we got. Dang, nab it. That's a lot of rolls. That's a good 12, 15 rolls right there. Texas Roadhouse ended up honoring one out of two policies. As far as I'm concerned, that's considered an F. Definitely not goat tier, but hey, maybe the next company will be. Now, this next company is one that I hold near and dear to my heart. Uber. <laughs> Thought I'd try to trick you guys with the uh, McDonald's logo in the back there. Anyone can become an Uber, and the best part is you have no boss, which raises the question, do their drivers actually follow the company policy? In order to find out, I'll be testing drivers on the following policies. No flirting, drivers can't touch passengers if they fall asleep, and finally, the pet-friendly policy. But we'll get to that later. Let's see if Uber can hold up against what I have planned. And so I went to my local park and ordered myself our first Uber. Our Uber is on their way. Her name is Kimberly. She looks like a lovely woman, but I'm gonna see if I can get her to flirt with me. All right, she'll be here in two minutes. And then two minutes later, she arrived. Oh, is this her? This is her Uber? How you doing? How are you guys? Good. All right, so seatbelts, guys. So, uh, how's your day going? It's been like super good. Any plan, uh, weekend plans? Um, not really. I'm, I'm trying to, um, I was scrolling on uh, Tinder trying to find a date, but uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, no luck. You know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, but they say that app, I guess, is pretty good. It's kind of like annoying. I like being in person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm pretty free all the time, so if you ever want to like grab a coffee or something. Oh, you sound nice. Yeah, yeah. And maybe it could be like a, like a date, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. That might've been the most awkward thing ever. I'm kind of at a loss for words. So the next policy we're testing is drivers can't touch passengers if they fall asleep. I'm just gonna fall asleep in the back of an Uber and see if they touch me. Let's do it. And so I ordered another Uber. This time it was a fellow named Brian. I grinded a little bit of Hungry Shark as I waited and then Brian arrived. How you doing, man? Good, how you doing? Good, good. A little bit tired though. Tired? Yeah, I'm tired. Such a young age. Yeah. God. Well, last night we were playing Hungry Shark till like 5 a.m. I played that with my wife. <laughs> And now in order to test this policy, I had to begin fake sleeping. I don't think Brian even noticed because he was so occupied with him and my filmer Owen's interesting conversation. This Nicaragua is the only freshwater lake containing oceanic animal life, including sharks, swordfish, and tarpon. Yeah. Wow. I touched Spanish flu. I touched Spanish flu. Yeah. Eventually, Brian did notice that I was sleeping. Little guppy's trying to sleep. I'm too much But now it was just a question of was he going to touch me to wake me up? Not laughing through the entire ride was a challenge in itself. 2,500 on cow trees, Arabian horses, and monkeys, and parrots, and a baby and leopard. He came up there and started hitting her with his stemple back. She dropped the dog, and the dog would find him on the leg. But somehow I made it to the destination, and it was time to officially test this policy. Hey, Guppy, gotta wake up. The shark's in here. My God, he's got a wallet or something? We'll just rob him, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can, you believe, you know. can you believe he's that? I sleep? can't believe he's that out. And just when I thought that I had to wake up. No, I just gotta. Yo. Oh, shoot. Uh, I woke up. I just saw sharks. I don't know. <laughs> sorry, Brian. No, no, don't be sorry. 
Brian's the best guy. He's the best dude. After I looked back through the footage, I realized that Brian actually didn't technically touch me because he actually touched me with a newspaper. So I'm gonna call that a policy enforced. We have one more policy to test and it might just be the best one. Good eye, mate. Hope you like that little transition there. If you're wondering why I'm dripped down in this silly attire, it's because pretty soon here, I'll be handling a very dangerous creature, an alligator. Blizzard's gonna eat you. All right, from the top. You see, for just an extra $2, you can opt for a pet-friendly Uber ride, except they never specify which pets are and aren't allowed. So today, we're pushing this policy to its absolute limits. Another YouTuber by the name of Zach Alsop also did this, and his Uber ride accepted, except he lives in the UK, and I don't know if Americans are gonna be as forgiving. I'm actually terrified to hold this alligator, but uh, I'll literally do anything for you guys. You guys make all these videos possible and I cannot thank you enough. The growth has been insane. This has literally been a dream of mine since before I can even remember. We have a crazy goal of hitting a million subscribers before the end of the year. If you would consider subscribing, it would mean the world to me. And uh, I have an alligator to catch. And within five minutes, I had a man named George knocking on my front door. And now it was time to meet our alligator. All you gotta worry about is you don't wanna, you don't want the tail near your face. Okay, it'll you don't smack me. your face to the side of his face. Okay. Because if you feel right here, it's rock hard. So if he were to smack you with that, it doesn't feel good. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I'm scared. And then our alligator friend decided uh, he was gonna pee everywhere. Hopefully that doesn't happen in the Uber, right? <laughs> We decided on going to our local Chipotle to order our Uber. I think it's safe to say our alligator friend was pretty popular. Let's go look at this alligator yeah. over here. Uber matched us up with our boy Cameron, and now it was just a question of, was he gonna allow an apex predator into his car? What do you think? Yeah, I think so. All right, our Uber is here. Here we go. Hey, Uber. Yeah, yeah uh, is it cool if, uh, if my little dude comes in here. It's a, it's an alligator, but he doesn't bite. He doesn't bite. No, bro. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Yeah, awesome. All right, let's hop in. All right. Yeah, he's just trying to run out the window. Thank you for accepting, man. It did say pet friendly, so I was hoping that that was true. Most of the time, it's like a dog. I'm not gonna lie though, I feel like this is a bad representation for Uber though, because a lot of drivers take the way more serious than I do. I'm like in between right now, so I just kind of drive Uber in the meantime. Well, I hope we uh, made that experience a little more fun. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Nobody else, anybody can say that they've ever had an alligator in their car. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you, man. Right, you were awesome, thank you so much. I'm gonna call that a success right there. Uber came in with an astonishing three out of three policies honored. Also, Brian's my favorite person to ever walk this earth, so Uber is officially goat tier. Welp, I proposed, scammed Ikea's food court, cooked a steak in a movie theater, got absolutely humiliated, and put an alligator in an Uber. And what did we learn? You can get away with a lot more than you think with these companies, so don't be afraid to push the three, limits. Two, one. Open your eyes. Oh, did you the rules? Yeah. You went? Yeah. What? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 200,000 likes and we'll do a part three. I love you. Goodbye.